steps. The first step is to create your panthenol water or your liquid panthenol. And the second step is to add it to your mixtures. How do I use it? I use it as a leave-in for my hair. So let me go ahead and show you how I mix it. Okay, I'm going to make a 50% solution. So what does that mean? Again, I'm going to... I always drop stuff, I'm sorry. I'm going to mix a 50% solution here and first I'm going so here's the 30 milliliter mark here Can you see that okay and it's the same as the one ounce mark so what I'm going to do first is put my water in here okay so I, I have 30 milliliters of water and what I want to do is add three teaspoons of panthenol so I can get a 50% solution so let me go ahead and use this and here is my whoo, my panthenol vitamin B5 so I already have one in there because I messed up so I have one in there so now I'm going to put two and three so three teaspoons is the equivalent of 15 grams so I have 15 grams of panthenol and 30 milliliters of water. Might be a little more, but you know what I have here. So I have five, 15 grams of panthenol and I have 30 milliliters of water. And that makes a 50% solution of panthenol, liquid panthenol. So I want to shake this up. I have hot water in here. Okay, and it's a little murky, but it's, uh, it's, it's all dissolved, which is great. Now, what I do is I add my other stuff. Just as a reminder, this is a 210 milliliter bottle or a 7 ounce bottle. So, if I want... Usually when you when you make a solution, it's recommended that you use between 3% and 15% of panthenol. So I am going to make about a 15% solution of panthenol. Again, with panthenol in it, excuse me. I have a 50% solution of panthenol. That's what I created. Now I want to go ahead and put it in my leave-in. And I want the panthenol to be 15% percent of my leave-in. So I have a 50% solution which is the three, tape, excuse me, three teaspoons over 30 milliliters that gave me this solution 50% but I want this solution of panthenol to only be 15% of my entire leave-in. So what do I do? Well I am, I've already measured here, so I know that this is one seventh of this bottle. So 30 milliliters divided by 210 milliliters is approximately 14, 15%. So all I do is add my other stuff. So what's my other stuff? I have some Lily of the Valley aloe vera gel. So I'll pour that in. I don't care about how much I put in there. I'm going to put that much in. And then I'm going to add, I like some olive oil. And I'm just going to add, I'm going to eyeball it. I'll probably add like about a tablespoon of this in here. And I'll let you see how much I have. And again, this is what I use for my leave-in. And I use this daily. Okay. So... There's the amount of oil that I put in the bottle. And then I have some very inexpensive cheap shampoo, excuse me, cheap conditioner. And it has no silicones in it. And I'm going to add this to my leave-in concoction here. 
And I'll probably add some more water. If you want, you can add essential oils, but you don't have to. So I'm going to put the top on this, and I'm going to shake this up. And all the numbers come off of this. This, this is not a very... And this is my leave-in, and this is how I use it. So what I would do is, I've already done my hair, but I, I can go ahead and take it off. I have a, a baggie on, so I'm going to, what I do in the morning time, and even in, before I go to bed, and my baggie came off, it's my baggie, is I take this, and I do not take my hair out between washes. So I washed my hair last night, and I have it in this little braid. So what I'm going to do is I just... Spray this on my ponytail that I'm going to baggy. I squeeze it in, and you may want to put a towel on. So I squeeze this in, and generally I like to do this uh, in the morning time and at night. And you can also put this on the top of your head, but for me sometimes it makes my hair coated and dull looking. So. I try not to use too much. The conditioner in here can make your hair coated. So I, my main goal is to put this on my ponytail every day, maybe once or twice a day. And you can see it leaves a white film. And then what I do is I take my, my baggie and I put that on the back of my hair. I'm not sure if you can see. And then I take my little socks or my, what do you call this? Uh, I forget what you call this, but um, stockings or knee highs. I put this on. I put two on. So I, I, that's one, and then I'm going to put this other one on. I think I paid like 69 cents or a dollar for, for the two of them. Okay, and I use black because it just seems to match everything for me. And And then, I try to squeeze it and try to shape it. And some people say they don't like how this looks. And you can always put like a, a phony ponytail on the back. You can put a beautiful scarf on the back. But for me, all that weight gives me a headache, so I can't use that. I wanted to tell you all, thank you very much for your, your patience and for your feedback and for your questions. It's very, very helpful. It helps me to... I also appreciate the patience with uh, my technical skills in terms of these videos. I'm not really that skilled with these videos, but I'm trying. So, but anyway, I want to just tell you thank you and have a wonderful day and thank you very much for your time and your attention. So, see you later.